Hello, my name is Mark Preco, president and founder of Atom Software, and I'm very excited today to demonstrate our Atom VoIP phone system. So the VoIP phone system has been around for years now, and many of you probably have it. So you're probably wondering, why do I need Atom's VoIP phone system? So that is what I'm going to show you why you need Atom's VoIP phone system. So many of you know my background, um, but for those that don't, I'll share it with you really quickly that we have a tax office, um, started 24 years ago, did 24 returns or 75 returns, I'm sorry, the first year, and now we're doing 7,500 returns. So the only time I was able to manage my calls was that very first year back in 1998 when I only had 75 clients. Ever since then, the calls have been out of control and I honestly had no clue how to control them. So just like many of you that have Adam already, you probably bought Adam to try to bring control to your office. Like where's the client file? You know, where are the documents, all that. And hopefully Adam has done that for you. Um, it's definitely done it for our tax office, but I just um, never had a way of managing those phone calls. The phone just ringing out of control trying to answer it, uh, I, we just could not do it. Almost didn't matter how many bodies we had in there, we just never could manage those call volumes. Well, this past year, May 15th, we were forced to go into the Adam VoIP phone system because our current provider um, failed us and we weren't planning on doing it until after tax season to test it out. We didn't have a choice, so everybody grabbed a headset and we went live on May 15th and have never looked back since. And it was very smooth transition. Um, and a lot of people, some of them have never worn a headset, and um, but they do now, and they actually now are definitely more efficient by working with two hands on the keyboards. So that's how it happened. Um, I'm gonna now demonstrate why uh, an Atom VoIP system is a whole lot better than any other VoIP system, okay? And the bottom line is because it's built into Atom, the management system that you're using or hopefully you're using. So to begin here, um, you see this annoying phone icon just blinking at you. What that's telling you is that um, you need to turn the phone agent on so you can actually restart receiving calls or they can transfer calls to you. So I just go ahead and click on this. Is, the reason it's flashing and you can control that uh, because it's very important to at least allow people to intercom you. So if you don't turn the agent on, then you're not gonna get any kind of communication through the phone ways. So I go ahead and click on the icon. Okay, and, and right away it's just saying I'm unavailable. So unavailable means I can't accept incoming calls and nobody can intercom me or transfer a call to me. So my options are I can make myself available, which means I can accept any kind of call from the clients outside or transferred calls or intercom. Transfer only, this is normally what the tax repairer would be doing. They can only receive intercom with your staff or they can get a call transferred to them, but they won't accept incoming calls because they're busy doing tax returns. So your support staff would be available, obviously the ones that are answering the calls so they can answer all the incoming calls. Then the last ones are just on call and wrap up. Okay, now I'm gonna go through some of the other features. I'm gonna flip over to another database. So you can um, make outgoing calls. There's several ways to do that. One is obviously, I'm gonna show you in a second where you just go in the client file and, and click on a link and then it automatically will dial. But if you don't have, say you're just calling somebody that's not in your database, then you just go ahead with call, type the phone number in, just on the keypad, or you can go ahead and say you have them in your phone list. So I call the IRS practitioner office all the time. So I have IRS filter and where is it down here? Oh, it's in here somewhere. Oh, it's further down. Oh, no, I got IRS. Hold on one second, IRS. And then I do a space, then I filter. Now it's a smaller list, practitioner priority service. So it automatically pre-fills the number in. I just hit dial number goes out to the IRS, and then I can actually keep track of all the times I call the IRS, which is, I'm gonna show you in a minute, where you can also keep track of all the calls to your 
clients incoming and outgoing. All right, I'll go ahead and clear this out. Let's go back now to my other file here. Also, we have uh, very important is your current incoming call queue. That is how you're going to manage all those incoming calls that happen so frequently and so fast. All right, and you never can have enough staff around to answer all those calls. So now they're just gonna go into a queue if you don't have anyone available to answer the call, and then you'll take them um, as you become available. Or maybe some people will see there's a long list in the queue, they can jump in and make themselves available and they can help out. So maybe a tax repair or whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll make myself transfer only. And I'm gonna call here on my cell phone and you'll see, um, I'll try to put the speaker phone on so you can hear. Please hold while we connect you to the next available customer representative. If you experience a long hold time, you can always send us a text message to this number and we will call you back as soon as we are available. Thank you for choosing x -Tax. So now it's gonna send me into the queue um, and that greeting you just heard, that's something you customize. So we would send you a default greeting. Let me put this on mute. And I'm gonna refresh my page here and you'll see me pop into the queue. There I am right there. So there's the phone number waiting in the queue, it's gonna keep a time going. Um, this will just keep growing as more people go into your queue. Everyone has access to this so they can see how busy it is. There's also gonna be on the header. Um, if you're familiar with Adam in the lobby, you know how it identify how many people are in your lobby. It's the same thing with the queue. It'll actually show how many people are in your queue so that other people can help out and start answering the calls. And the beauty with VoIP is you can do this from anywhere. So you can get people helping from home or wherever it needs to be done. Um, and also you can actually use Adam on your cell phone. So you can pull, if you can pull up your, if you can pull up your Adam app or your Adam application, then you can actually use um, the Adam VoIP phone system too. So from here, I will just go ahead and switch over and make myself available because I'm going to help out now with the calls. So now the call is going to be. And as you notice, one of the most important features of the VoIP phone system with Adam is it actually identifies the caller. So I don't actually have to even ask who this is. I might verify it. Is this James? And they'd say yes. And then so from here, I can actually link directly into their file. So it shows who's this support agent. So M Preco, that's my login. And then here's James right here. And then here's the incoming call tracking it. So it's on call. So now other people can actually see that I'm on a call. So from here, I can either click on the link from here or right in here. This takes me right into his file. And from here, I can service him and whatever needs he has, but I have whole access to everything about the client um, immediately. So I don't know if it's, um, I know in our office, we struggled with sometimes um, not understanding the client very well. So sometimes it took us a several minutes just to get, uh, their last name correct so I could actually look them up. Don't have to worry about that anymore. So with Adam, they will do a search based on cell phone, day phone, evening phone of the taxpayer, of the spouse. If there's a third party or third, a secondary contact, that person's number also. I'm gonna go ahead and hang up this call so I don't get an echo. Uh, so that alone is gonna save tons of time for your support staff and make them work more efficiently. Now we track. So because this is all tied into Adam, and you know Adam's all about tracking how much time we spend on this, who worked on it, who touched it. So now we can do that all with the calls. So I click on my call log. So this individual, James Baxter here, calendar year, organize it by calendar year, 2021, there's been 205 calls between him and our office. So 80 of those were inbound, 94 were outbound, 31 were missed. So we track everything. This is the duration in and out, total, average, and then 
one of the most important ones, we put a billable amount on each call. So you can control that based on which employee took the call. So that's gonna be in the user page. So then the bottom line is, am I spending way too much time with this client over the summer and I'm not even billing them enough because I only charge based on forms and I need to add some more on here. So if I have 208, if I actually go into their file, scroll down and take a look at what I charged them. So actually the tax prep fee was 232. He suckered me into giving him a discount. 182, he's costing me more just on the phone and that doesn't even count what I'm charging for tax prep. So guess what, next year, he's gonna pay more. And if he doesn't like it, he can go elsewhere because he's costing me more than he's giving me. But now I actually have proof, I have backup, as opposed to just thinking always, man, it seems like I talk to this person all the time, but I never had record of it. And I know you guys have VoIP systems and you probably have the capability of tracking that, but do you? Do you dig into your reports? Do you find this information? With Adam, there is no, it's right there in front of you. It's automatically happening. It's all in one place, all in the client file, just like everything else. So again, if you're gonna do it, if you're already gonna use Adam to put everything in one place, why not put your phone system in one place um, and have it be manageable? So from here, I can, if I search up Jan, James, I can just click on this phone icon. It automatically puts his name or his phone number in here. I just hit call and I automatically dial out. Uh, let me go back in this file. Again, for the spouse, same thing. I just click on the icon. If I do a search, for the client, I'll have the link right here based on the phones. I have the same thing on the appointment calendar. The phone link is there. The employee's work schedule, again, because your employees, you got to call your employees too. This is all tracked in their user file too. So if, if you have an employee call in the office, their name would pop up as an employee. Um, so it's not just for your clients. Now we go to the home page, and I'm actually gonna flip over to another database here. So from here under my office communications is obviously you know you track the portal, um, the emails, the text. Well now we're gonna track the voice. So I can quickly see how many calls I took today. So in this right here I have 37 phone calls. 28 of those were inbound, seven outbound, and two were missed. If I wanna get detail on that, I just go ahead and click on the link. Shoots me into my huge call log summary where I can actually track what employees talked to, how many times did each employee take an inbound, outbound call. So I have Caitlin here, she took six calls today. Six were inbound, no outbound. This is how much time she spent on each one of the calls, an average amount of time. I can click on, her name, this is everybody that she talked to. So these with phone numbers, they didn't actually have a client file. So that's why the, the phone number displayed. I can go ahead and click on this client file. I will go right into her, her actual file. Time of the day, hourly call log. I can see exactly what time of the day everybody's calling me. So for staffing needs, you can see when do you get hit, hit the hardest to make sure you have enough staff. And this is all, stays in their history. So I can go back to any date range I want. So once you start using it, you can use this for planning purposes for the following year. Cause you know, obviously we always looked, I used Adam anyways to track how many returns I do per day. Um, for calls, uh, I had no way of tracking how many calls. I know when it was busy. I think I would make a note and say, phone ringing off the hook, but guess what? I couldn't do anything anyways. I had no way of managing it. Now I have a tool to manage all my calls. Even if I know now I have a queue, which is gonna handle those incoming calls. And so I can try to make sure I have people available to answer those. Worst case is because um, Adam is integrated. The reason we're able to provide this VoIP phone system is through Twilio. And if you're familiar with Twilio, that's how we do texting through Adam. So you can use your same, same account. Okay, and then instead of getting a voice message, what we found to be actually be better if you use the Twilio, obviously you're using it for texting, instead of telling them to leave a voice message, we tell them to leave us a text message to that number. So then we don't have to worry about transcribing. It's another cost if I were to do voice message. One is I don't, wanna, I don't wanna dial to get my voice message. That's time consuming. And for all I know, I've already answered their question because they already called me because they didn't wanna wait for me to retrieve um, my voice message. 
So now we just tell them if they're sitting in the queue for a long time, they can always send us a text. It comes right here on the home page. And then from there, someone can read it, assign it, do whatever they'd want, but I don't have to waste time retrieving a voice message. I can take care of it that way. So um, let me get back to my call log here. Scrolling down a little bit further with Adam's VoIP system, you can customize it. You can customize the greetings. You can customize the type of calls. So if you want to track how many scheduled appointments, how many times are they called, checking on refund status, um, identity verification, or just regular support, you can do that. You can customize all that. And then when it actually, the incoming call, it will actually identify it. This is like, say, refund status, so that the, the uh, agent answering the call has kind of, it's like a scanning feature, so they know what the call is about before they actually even take the call. And of course, then it's gonna, the name's gonna pop up. But you can also put a little message related to that. So if they were to call about refund status, before they actually talk to one of your phone agents, you can give them a little um, information about the refund status. Maybe that, you know, the IRS isn't issuing refunds yet. It's gonna be another 10 days prior to that, so please call back. So then they don't even have to tie up the, um, the line with the phone agent to tell them exactly the same thing. So you can use Adam's VoIP phone system for that. So it's a, I mean, on top of just being inside of the software, it allow it has a lot of other features that are very powerful to help manage all those phone calls. And then down here, we can actually see all the client call log, who called in today, how many times they called in, again, missed calls, inbound, outbound. So maybe you can track even your missed calls so you can call the client back. So maybe everyone is out on a, a break in your office, or I mean, even the owner could look at it and say, why did we miss any calls? We had five people working today. So again, it's just, it's a way of seeing, just like Adam always does, gives you a snapshot of what's going on in your office. I We never were able to give you a snapshot of your calls. Um, that was just, it's almost like the phone system is another little Adam, is basically what it is. So it's. Now it's taking all those calls and controlling them and managing them and giving you great data. Um, and on top of that, it's a cost savings. So it depends on what you're paying now, but even if you're using a VoIP system, um, Adam's probably gonna be even less expensive than that because we're cutting out the middleman. So um, that is all I wanted to share. I wanted to just tell you, obviously, if you're using VoIP now, you know how powerful it is. But can you imagine putting your VoIP phone system into your management system? And that is what I just ex described to you. And we've been doing it since May of this past year. And it's, it's worked great for us.